If you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to configure a standard WLAN using the Comscope Ruckus Unleash user interface. This type of WLAN can be used with specific options for employees or guests and is used frequently for most regular wireless network usage. So from the main Unleash dashboard, you would click on Wi-Fi Networks, and I would click on Create. And now I'm going to give the wireless LAN a name, and I'm going to call it Standard Unleashed. Under Usage Type, it says Standard for Most Regular Wireless Network Usage. Now, you notice here that we also have Guest Access, Hotspot. We'll have separate videos on those as well. The authentication method is open, or it could be 802.1x, or a MAC address. We'll leave it as open. Encryption method, we have a number of methods here. We have WPA2, which has been around for a while, so if I click on that, it'll ask me for a password. We have WPA3, and if I use that, I would have an SAE password, or we could use a combination WPA2 or WPA3 mixed. And the mixed allows networks of WPA2 and WPA3 compliant devices. So we're going to go ahead and select WPA2 just for simplicity, and I'll give it a password, and I could show that password by clicking on that. We're going to keep it simple just because this is a demo. If I had an accounting server, I could select that, but right now that's disabled. And then we have an advanced tab. If I click on that, scroll down, we have our WLAN priority. By default, it's set at high. I could hide the SSID. The access VLAN number is default by one, but that could be changed. For example, if I wanted to say five, but I'll leave that at one. Maximum clients allowed up to 100 clients per AP for default, but that could be changed. We could put that up or down. Service schedules always on, or I could select always off, or I could be specific. And if I was specific, let's say I only wanted to have this WLAN available from Monday through Friday. If I wanted to have it from 8 o'clock to 6 o'clock, I could put that in there. We're just going to have it always on, so I'll tick that box. Access control, we can have different types of access control. Call admission control can be enforced. I could have a per station uplink speed. If I wanted to give a certain number of megabits per second, I could put that in there, and I could also do the same thing for my download speed. Access control, we could set up an ACL if we wanted to. Application visibility, if you want the data to show up under application, you would have to tick that box. So we're going to go ahead and tick that box. I could select URL filtering, or if I wanted to do Wi-Fi calling. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And it's going to go ahead and now create that WLAN. So now if I click on that, it brings up the WLAN. I could edit that if I wanted to. So if I wanted to make some changes, cancel on that. I could disable it or I could delete that WLAN. So after a minute or two, we can go down and check to make sure that WLAN is in our networks. And there we see it. We have the standard Unleashed WLAN. So all you have to do at this point is to select that network connect to it, enter your security password, and then click Next, and it'll verify the connection. And there we are. We've now connected to that new WLAN, and we're good to go. So as you can see, setting up a standard WLAN using the Comscope Ruckus Unleash user interface is a very easy process to do. Mm -hmm.